alert. Sitting. Crinkle, crinkle. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the only podcast that drinks giant's milk. This, <laughs> this is Nate, first of his name, conqueror of Jack's Salsa. This is Ruckus of House Nelson, also first of his name, conqueror of Baja Blast and that ass. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Skill Monkeys. <laughs> Welcome to Skill. It's warm in Winterfell tonight. Mm. Mm. Somebody ass getting made tonight. Mm. You know hey, what? we got we got tie dye on tie dye. I might as well just go all into it. You should have wore mine. <sighs> Oh. Feeling fresh. Would you consider? Do you think tie dye is like camouflage of of hippies? Yeah, hundred percent. Do you feel more comfortable wearing tie dye or camo? Tie dye. Me too. Because if you wear camo, you're you're kind of a dick. Yeah, I don't. I never got the concept. Of, I mean, I got the concept of it. You know, it takes one time as a child when you wear camo shorts. Somebody goes, oh, "I can't see your legs," and I go, "All right, well, I'm never gonna wear this again." Fuck you. <laughs> oh man. I do have a camo hat that I like to. What? I do like. I have a camo hat that I like. I yeah. Want to feel them like I want to be like my brother. Well, what is that? It's um. It's a state hat. Oh okay. Yeah. Somebody at work bought it for me. Apparently, I come off as a camo person. Never, never had the need. Nope. So, what you been playing this week, dude? Oh, um, I finished Tales from the Borderland. I think I told you that. You were working on it last week. Okay, I finished it finally. Okay. So now I got. I mean, now I got what's coming up for or for Borderlands Three. Yeah. Um, and now I think I can finally buy a new game because I think that's two or three games that I've beaten recently. Uh. I think the other two was like Injustice, and then something else. I I finally beat them, and I was like, okay, I think I can get a new game now. What you can get? I think I gotta get Sekiro. Sekiro. I gotta because have you even touched it yet? No. And I don't want I don't want to keep doing that to you, so I gotta get that so we can get the competition going. Especially since I have the next. Seven days off. I can't guarantee I won't touch oh, it. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to play through Spyro first, though. All right. I got to wait till tomorrow so I can get more money. More money, more money. I could get it, but I was just like... Yeah. Um, besides that, I played a, a fucking decent amount of Conan Exiles last night. How do you like it? Um, I I like it. It's... It's like Ark and Minecraft mixed together, kind of. But it's with more red, shredded dudes walking shredded around. Shredded dudes, you yeah. Know. I'm so. I guess I don't. This this kind of comes into uh, an, another topic, kind of a controversy coming around PlayStation right now. Mm. Um. In fact, the the fact that they don't, al- they're not allowing nudity. In a lot of their, it's it's not in the thing. Oh, okay. I didn't put it in the doc, but I just remembered seeing something about it. Um, PlayStation is getting, uh, like, people are getting are getting mad at PlayStation for not allowing some forms of nudity. So in in Conan, in the PC version at least, um, everybody's naked, aren't they? Everyone can be naked, full on dong. Full on titties hanging out, everything. On the PlayStation one, you could you can only be partially naked. You can't see no titties. You can't can't see no you know no, no dong. And and like and it's shitty because when you're looking at the game on the PlayStation, you have if you're a guy, you have endowment slider. You can make how long your dick is on that game. But it, it's completely blocked out. Like it's grayed out. It shows that you can do it, but it won't let you do it. Huh. And yeah, I guess PlayStation has been doing that for a lot of games recently. For I don't I don't know how long, 
but I guess people have come out and been like, that's kind of shitty. Why won't you let us play mature games? Like, I mean, play mm. games with forms of nudity in them. So, I just saw that come up on uh, a thing recently about it. Yeah, I mean... What's your opinion on it? What do you... I don't really care, honestly. Like, to, to be honest, like, I don't care if I see video game tits anymore. Like, 12-year-old me, 100% would have been mad. <laughs> But, like, I, if it doesn't affect the gameplay, I really don't care for the most part. Yeah. If it's, like, something that's going to cause an issue with, like, story, like, if there's a big part of a story that affects nudity and they have to cut the whole thing out, then I would have an issue. But just sounds like a bunch of people want to walk around with their dogs out slapping some titties in a game. And it's okay. Do your thing, but I don't care. Yeah. Have you ever seen that, um... That meme about uh, Takashi Six Nine. No. There's a what there's Takashi Six Nine. <laughs> Takashi Six Nine is that rapper. Six Six Nine. Okay. The guy with the rainbow hair. Sure. Yeah. Do you know who I'm talking about at all? No. Rapper. Just Six Nine. Six Nine. Oh. You think? You, uh, yeah, I, I, I see him. So <laughs> someone came out saying, uh, I think it was on on Twitter, it was like the people that li- or the guys that like Takashi Six Nine are the guys that masturbate to the to the strippers in GTA Five. Oh, to be fair, back when I was a kid, I don't remember which Tony Hawk game it was, but you could break into a strip club and just watch them stripping going on. Nice. Yeah. These are fucking delicious, man. Those cookies and cream. See, I don't like cookies and cream most of the time. I usually don't either, but it's not like overpowering. Okay. It's it don't it's hitting that spot. Anyway, um, so that uh, the, yeah, Conan Exiles. I was playing that a lot. Um, that kind of goes into another topic that we have on here. We'll get to that in a little bit. Um, what have you been playing? Nothing. Really, I mean, I played played some more division. I'm officially ten ele- ten levels past the ginger, so that whole playing together thing's gone. He's mad. It's okay. I'm enjoying it. It's fun. Uh, played some. I finally played some Rocket League for the first time in a while. It felt good. Yeah, how is that going back to that? Not bad. Like it, w- it was so long that I stopped playing that they had me do placement matches again, so that got me warmed back up. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, I think we went six and three last night, <coughs> and that was with me having shitty internet connection the whole time. Yeah. So I'd like hit the ball, and then nothing would happen, and it would shoot across. Oh, okay. You know, good times, good times. And that's all I played. I'm gonna play some Aspyro this week. Um, maybe some Sakura. 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 Shadows die a lot. Yes. More than twice. More than twice. Yeah. I gotta go pick it up. I'm excited. Um, first topic. Uh, Easter. Oh, actually, I wanted to ask you how the um bachelor party went. Oh, it was I know good. That was over the weekend. Um, we did an escape room. Did not make it out of the escape room. No, what kind of escape room was it? Uh, Western Saloon. Oh, really? Yep. Um, and they're like, "Hey, we need two volunteers," and me and another guy volunteered, not knowing what it was. And as soon as they basically locked us in a jail cell, and as soon as that happened, I was like, oh, my stomach does not feel good. <laughs> um, Did anyone go, it's high noon? <laughs> no. It's not that comfortable. Th- those, they don't know Overwatch in that group. We're going to have to go back. I'm going to bring the camera, and we're going to we're gonna do it right. They don't want you to do a room you've already done. <sighs> All right, we'll go to a, go to mm-hmm. another one, but then I'll say, it's high noon. noon. I'm like, uh, what are you talking about? Like, we like got to the last three locks, but yeah. we wasted all of our, like, you get three clues. We wasted all of them on stupid shit. Like, there's a diary that I flipped through five times and didn't find anything. Did a, did a clue thing, you have to put your thumbs up. And they're like, check the diary again. And then all of a sudden, there was pages full of dates and shit. I was like, how the fuck did I miss this three times? <laughs> um, but then we went to Longhorn Steakhouse. I got a ribeye. That was a 
fucking great. I think I didn't even need to put salt or A1 or anything on it. Just ate it by itself. Nice. Uh, he got uh, he got some other kind of steak, but uh, it's like we both got twenty dollars steaks, which I haven't had in a long time. Then we nice. went to Sands. I'm still bad at pool. Yeah. Yeah. Not good. I was already like <coughs> when you guys hit me up, I was already like in like chill at home mode. Ch- yeah, basically, I was already cooking. And I was, I was like standing over. I think I was, I was, I don't remember what I was making. Yeah. But I was like in the process of making like stuffed peppers and some rice and shit. And I was like, I'll, I'll see. And then as soon as I got done making that, I got, I was fucking exhausted. Oh, I was tired the whole fucking time. I, I had worked that that day, so I was up since six. And then we went to the tavern on the square. Um, would not recommend. It's not a really great bar. No. Uh, but Aaron kept doing this thing where the music would come on and he would just start like really hard. The next day, he sends me a picture of his hands. He's like, "What the fuck happened?" I was like, "What are you talking about? My hands are swollen and bruised." Oh, I remember. I remember seeing that Snapchat of of him going, "Why are my hands so swollen?" I'm like, "What the fuck did they do?" <laughs> no, he did it to himself. He also gave. Was um, he just trashed all night? Uh. From Sands on, yes. Damn. I tried to get him a Sazerac as a drink, and the bartender looked at me like I was the dumbest person ever. A Sazerac? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Who the fuck doesn't know what a Sazerac is? I don't know. She or did you ask for, a, was it a French 57? No, I asked for a Sazerac, and I pulled it up, and she's like, yeah, we don't have absinthe. I was like, okay, fine. Oh, yeah, that's kind of yeah, that's kind of hard <coughs> to get a hold of up here. And I realized I need to not have Red Bull and Jaeger because, like, I got home at 2 in the morning and then could not fucking sleep. <laughs> uh, but one of the guys, um, he was given a edible before we went to the bar, and he's <laughs> never been high before. And it was a 50 milligram edible. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we fit five of us, well, four of us at that time into an Uber. He sits in the middle. He rips ass so quietly, nobody else notices because Aaron's also gone at this point, and I'm next to it, and I'm just trying not to fucking throw up because it smells like ketchup and onions back there. <laughs> He's just laughing his ass off. <laughs> ketchup and onions. It's bad. Like Big Daddy ketchup and onions. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. I, I can taste it. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, it sounds like it was pretty fun though. It was fun. That's good. Yeah, That's I had good. good times. Um. Also, this weekend was Easter. Did you do anything uh, Easter-related with the fam? Yeah, we went over to my parents for Easter dinner. Yeah. Didn't have ham. We had French dips, which is weird. French dips? Yeah. That doesn't sound too bad. I don't, I don't like French dips. Oh, you don't? No. With the French onion and... So I just ate uh, cottage cheese, and corn, and mac and cheese. <laughs> Um, we did that, did a little quick little Easter egg hunt for my niece and nephew. And then we, uh, we celebrated both my niece's birthday and my birthday. And we realized we had too many people on the deck because as we were doing the candles, right in front of the, right on the deck, right in front of the, the slider, it dropped six inches while the candles were lit. Luckily nobody got hurt, but. Wait, the deck kind of dropped? The, the deck dropped six inches. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. So now there's a six inch drop. From uh, maybe six inches is exaggerated, like a couple of inches though. But you could hear it like it was like that, and then all of a sudden, and then you just walk by it and it squishes down. Now, so I think one of the supports shot out or something. Oh wow! Yep. God damn. Uh, but yeah, that's what we did for Easter. Nice. What did you do for Easter? Um, nothing. But I cooked. I marinated. Um, so for Easter it was just me, Em, and my mom. Yeah. So I, uh, the night before when I was cooking, I took three steaks out and put them in a marinade, mm-hmm. and ha- uh, tenderized them and marinated them for 16 hours, mm. and then um, cooked them with uh, Brussels sprouts and onions, and then uh, chopped cheesy small potatoes, those little round ones. Okay. Just chopped them up and then put them with cheese and had that for dinner that was, that was my easter dinner because i i don't like ham yeah I don't, I don't like the honey i like i don't 
I don't know. A spiral ham. Spiral ham. I'm not a big fan of it. <clears throat> I'm more of a turkey, or I just I'll just I'll do dinner and I'll make steak. Yeah. I like steak way better. So do I. But it's just tradition. And we got a really good deal on our ham. Yeah. So. Well, I'm not. Uh, I mean, I always like making new traditions. Yeah, that's true. So I'm. I'm just like ah, I don't like ham. And if I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna make steak. So this is what we're doing. I think one one year we did like shrimp, like steak and shrimp. I don't remember. Anyway, surf and turf. Yeah. So, but I was like, I want steak. So we're gonna make steak. Um. So that brings us to our first topic today. Uh, holiday. The holiday retreat games. Holiday. Holiday. Happy holiday. Hey, uh, welcome to Winnipeg. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the video games that we used to play over the holidays. Oh, hey there, holier, you know. Uh, holidays to get away from... The uh, well, family, you know. Family. Sometimes uh, your mom, she's just a big old bitch. <laughs> <and> you just <laughs> want to go play some games. What accent is that? I don't know. We did just move past it. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> it started... <laughs> <laughs> go. <laughs> Drink some soda. <laughs> I believe it's high noon. Hi noon, fellas. <laughs> I, I got to hear my boss do a white person voice at work yesterday. Is he white? No. <laughs> this is what the voice sounded like. And I just thought it was funny. <laughs> well, all right. Hey, fellas. Uh, well, who, what, what kinds of games do you like to play to get away from your, your, your wife and your kids? The old ball and chain, if you will. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, the holiday retreat games. Um, I used to do this all the time back growing up, just trying to. Get away from the family because I'm not big at uh, I'm not really big into big groups like family get-togethers. Yeah. I'm always like, I was always at the outcast because he's what you call one of them. But they're black sheep's. You yeah, know? I was um, all my like I don't have any cousins really my age. Mm-hmm. I only had nieces and nephews, so when we'd go there, I'm like nine ten years older than all of them so they'd all be playing around doing you know kitty shit and i was kind of left off into the um you know the side and adults talking me being like a teenager while everyone else is like a child really child like big Over children's big 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 children. <laughs> so that, that's what i would do is i would bring like a game boy or something what game oh uh, pokemon pokemon blue Pokemon Blue got me through a lot of family, like, family holidays and shit. And then when it started being, it was like, it'd be at my house. I uh-huh. would probably play Tekken or Final Fantasy. Okay. And, yeah, it, it, that would just be my retreat. What about you? What uh, What games would you retreat away from your family to go play? Pokemon Red. Um, I don't remember which one it is, but one of the Fire Emblem games on Game Boy Advance. Okay. And if we ever did it at my house, it would be one of the NCAA football games. Oh, okay. You know, that was cool. Or, or some, some wrestling games, you know. <laughs> WWF No Mercy. I didn't have an N64. No? Never owned one. I, I had someone that I went to their place, and they would always play it, and that game was always fun. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Give me that game. Give me that game. Give me that boom, boom, boom. All right, so. Yes. Uh, next topic. Uh, this this kind of was. Uh, what were you going to say? I've, I'm just curious what it is. Uh, so this is another topic that kind of goes back to the Conan Exiles thing. Um, our day slash night swallowers, which is those games that you're like, okay, I'm going to only play for a little bit, and oh. boom, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay. The day slash night <laughs> swallower. Completely misunderstood what that was. <laughs> day slash night swallowers. What are these, vampires? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, I want to suck your penis. Yeah, last night I was I played Conan with a, with a buddy of mine from work, and um, we started making the foundation. We, we made, like, a little house. And I was walking around with a giant fucking, like, two-handed sword, killing people, skinning them, getting hide, and then boom, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Wait, you're skinning the humans? 
<laughs> yeah, you gotta get ru- you gotta get hide. This well, is Conan Exiles. I know, you, but you just don't kill like animals. No, I was killing animals and getting food, but when everyone wants to kill you in that game, so you're making skin suits. Not really skin. You're suits. making skin suits. What? If you're using them to make use them for hide to make clothing, that's a skin suit. Well, that too, but a lot of the time. I'd be walking by and be like, oh, hey, look, that's, that guy looks friendly. And then he'd like, what are you doing here? I'm like, oh, oh. So Conan's got some rednecks in it? Yep. <laughs> Legolas. 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 <laughs> I'm fucking killing these guys that just looked at me weird. There, there's some weird shit in that game, too. There's, like, these weird um, mole men. They're about, like, like four foot tall, they have no neck, and their head is in their torso. Okay. So imagine, imagine my body like this, but then my head's right here, mm-hmm. sticking out, and they just want to be assholes. And then they got these weird uh, turtle gorillas that kind of run around, and you guys steal their eggs. So which part is the turtle, and which part's the gorilla? So imagine a turtle, but okay, imagine the body of a gorilla. Yeah completely hairless kind of like sh- separated shell on your back and it's walking on its fists okay but then it's like the head of a turtle like a snapping turtle huh yeah they got weird shit in that game and i haven't even seen all of it so but anyway i was me and <laughs> me and my friend were like making a house and we died to a sandstorm and we were doing all this shit and then I go, okay, let's do this, and it's like 12. Yeah. And then I go, oh, we're doing it, start getting into it. Next time I look up, it's fucking, it's like 3.30, almost 4 o'clock. I'm like, God damn, what the fuck happened? I was like, oh, I better get off. I got, I was supposed to get get to bed a little bit earlier so I could do this in the morning. <laughs> this. Um, But that's not the first time that's ever happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've done that plenty of times. Final Fantasy was one of them. Conan, now. Um, I'm trying to think of all the other ones. What about the ones that fucking destroyed your day? Oh. Or destroyed your night? Um, You're like, I'm going to get some shit done today. Done, done today and I'm going to like clean, so, and then boom, it's gone. So it's uh, it still happens now, but it was way worse when me, you, and Aaron all played Rocket League. Oh, yeah. Because that would be like four hours every single night at minimum. 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 Um, doing raids on D1. Oh, yeah. Like, I remember that Taken King one just being up super fucking late, like getting to like four in the morning, and we still hadn't finished it. Um, I'm trying to think. Anytime I play like a good single player game, like God of War last year, like I would just be up for like till one thirty, two oh, yeah. o'clock, and then. I fucked myself because I made myself go to bed once, and it was 30 minutes before the ending, <laughs> and I was so pissed off. But, like, anytime I get, like, really good like that or, like, an Uncharted or Last of Us, I just plow through it. Like, uh, Uncharted 4, when that came out, it was right after my surgery, so I didn't have to go to work, and I was high on Norcos. Uh, so I just nice. sat there and just played it. I beat it in, like, three days. Nice. And I would, pl- would play, pass the fuck out. Push back up in the chair, start playing again. Pass the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> fucking what was it back like in the any of the Metal Gear Solid games? Oh yeah. Um, Red Dead kind of did that a little bit. The first one. Oh, this one did it to me too. Yeah, that one it, too. Like it was a slow burn at the beginning, but then it, like I don't know, it's like a, f- a switch flips halfway through, and I was just like, I'm gonna get fucking through this. Let's fucking do this shit. Uh, Spider Man did it. There's, there's tons of games that did it. Spider Man's fine. You're just like, oh man, I want to do shit today. And boom, it's 9 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, well, there goes the day. I was going to go to the bank and. <laughs> go to the bank? How <laughs> white are you? <laughs> I was going to go make a withdrawal at the bank, you know? I was going to go to the bank. Go to the bank, see? I was going to get my clothes pressed. Why do you sound like John Mulaney? <laughs> Spider Ham. Spider Ham. Put up there, caller. Hello. <laughs> Isn't Tell he gonna, me. Isn't he getting his own show with Spider Ham? I, I don't. On the is Disney, he? I think they announced that for the Disney streaming service. I'll watch the shit out of it. Spider Ham. 
Spider Ham is such a weird like character. Yeah, yeah. Just like he's not he's not a pig, but he was he was like a spider, and then was like bitten by a radioactive pig and turned into a pig, and then was walking by and decided to move in with uh his the, was it um Aunt May yeah just kind of move in because she was like senile and pretend to be a, her kid. I didn't know that. Part. Yeah, that's it's such a weird story. I'm like, what? Like, who 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 thought that up? Like, he just broke in and was like, "Hi, I'm your grand, I'm your grandson, or I'm your aunt, or your aunt, your nephew." There, there we go. go. I'll get it. It's okay, there, guy. It's like a Targaryen uh, family tree right <laughs> there. <laughs> 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 um. All right. Move on. Do we have uh, a Do you have a name for this yet? I I do. Okay. And I have a whole thing for it, so we got to get through this other shit before I. Oh, we're doing it at the end. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, all right. So, uh, final Avengers predictions. We'll get through that. Later. You want to do that first? Yeah. All right. So Avengers comes out this weekend. Yeah. I'm seeing know. it Saturday. You're seeing it Saturday. Saturday at 10 p.m. You got the tickets. Yep. See, I'm I'm not gonna see it the first week. Uh, yeah, but I was like, I still haven't seen Captain Marvel. But I wanted, but last year I got to see Infinity War on my birthday. I was like, I can see Endgame on my birthday too. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Are you gonna wear a diaper? Uh, I might have to, or I might just not. Like after like four o'clock, because we're going at ten, just not eat or drink anything. Oh man. But you're, but you're Nate, man. You're gonna need to drink something. I you're know. gonna have one DP. One DP. One DP. I want to get there. Yeah. We're talking about Diet Pepsi, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Not Dr. Pepper. Fuck that. Hey. hey you you like it. To each his own, to man. Each, yeah, to each to their own. To each his own. So, everybody's going to die. That's my prediction. Everyone's going to die. Everybody's going to die. It's not going to be a happy ending. You know, you know, there's one thing I'm going to predict. When they finally do the fight with Thanos, and Captain Marvel goes, yeah, all right. I'm going to come in here, big dick slinging, punch him once. And then when Thanos doesn't fall down like a little bitch, then she's going to be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, I guess I can't be that cocky, and I need to work work with, with everybody else as a team. Yeah. That's the only thing I predict. It's just I like, um. So I saw one that's not like a real prediction, but I hope it happens. Like, during the time travel, they end up having to go back to, like, the 40s with Captain America. And he, they just let him stay so he can live his life out with Peggy. I'm like, aw, that's You think that's going to happen? No, but that would be cool if it did. Let him stay. Yeah. He, w if you had the knowledge... Of what happens in the 20th what happens century? Do you think you're going to let any of that happen? I don't know, man. I don't know. You think they're going to do the time travel? No, oh, 100% they're going to time travel. I think they're going to end it like they do in the actual Infinity War. With Nebula? Yeah. Boom. Everyone's gone. Or everyone's basically dead. Move to another universe. Yeah. That's basically it. I don't know. I don't like that. Well, Seems that's like how they end it. Fucking Infinity I know. War. It's going to be a cop out, though, I think, for them. Also, I think the whole thing with Tony being like shown on Earth, I think that's such a red it, herring. It might not even be real, man. That's what I'm saying. It's a red herring. It's not real. It's just like the Hulk thing from yeah. Infinity War. It ain't going to happen. I think Tony's going to die. Either Tony or Steve's going to die, 100%. One of them has to die. Yeah? Yeah. Are you going to kill him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same conversation <laughs> that we had yet last week. <laughs> I predict you're going to die in two years. Are you going to kill him? Who did I predict was going to die in two years? George R. George R. Martin. George R. R. Martin? George George R. R. Martin. You said Jar Jar R. Jar Jar Martin. Jar -Jar Martin. <laughs> <laughs> the crossword. Misa don't know who to kill next. <laughs> the crossword no one wants. <laughs> <laughs> You've been working on your Jar Jar. <laughs> 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 John Snow, you saw in big doo doo. Oh God! <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man. Okay. <laughs> I hope I hope some of the people that were dusted stay dead. Just somebody. 
somebody like Peter Parker. Why? I'm just kidding. <laughs> the it's like Winter Soldier. Nobody gives a shit. Just let him he's stay supposed dead. To, I feel like he's going to take over for Captain America if he it's, dies. I'd rather have Sam take over. Mm, you think so? I, that's just my personal opinion. Okay. Yeah, Captain America doesn't need to have long black hair and a metal arm. Not today. <laughs> not my Captain mm-hmm. America. Not my Van Helsing and not my Hellboy. <laughs> Oh man, I heard that movie he- is flopping big. I've heard, yeah, I've heard Hellboy is total shit. Someone was at Josh was like, "Hey, you wanna you wanna go see Hellboy?" And I went, "No, no." <laughs> Why? It's got this guy and this guy. Because it doesn't have <laughs> Ron Perlman. Yeah, it doesn't have Ron Perlman. And he goes, "Uh, despite what you think, uh, Ron Perlman wasn't the best choice." And I went, <gasps> "Fuck you!" Blasphemy, heretic. That's like saying somebody else should have played Wolverine besides Hugh Jackman. Oh, man. So I got something to show you later. Oh. I got something to show you. Um, I saw uh, Epic Rap Battles started coming back. Wolverine and Freddy Krueger? Yeah. I didn't watch it, but I saw it pop up. I like the guy's costume. Did you? Yeah. Was it? It looks fucking phenomenal. Phenomenal? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Jar Jar Martin. <laughs> What's your prediction? Let's get a prediction out there. My from prediction. You. Um, Make the MCU great again. <laughs> Not my Captain America. Oh, wait. We could just do MAGA. Make Avengers great again. <laughs> <laughs> um, they gotta, they got to bring back Jar, <laughs> Jar Jar. <laughs> Same company now. They could. God damn it. Uh, Black Panther and Spider-Man are going to come back. Because they both have movies coming out. But technically, I think both of those are prequels. They come before. At at least uh, Far From Home, I think. I think Far From Home happens after the time travel. Because that bus that he's on, to me, it's heading to the airport to go overseas for Far From Home. Oh, I thought it was them coming back. Oh, fan. They were driving outside of New York. Geography. I'm just making this up. (laughs) You're just... But where is it? Like there, see that's the problem with me is I don't know New York very well, but I remember that they're from Queens. Yeah, I don't know. It just looked like they were on a bridge heading away. There's a bridge going. There's there's a Manhattan bridge to the, nowhere. Let's a, keep this political. A bridge. To <laughs> I can see Alaska from my house. I said that wrong. <laughs> Fuck. No, I think you said it right. No, I can see Russia from my house. Oh yeah, yeah, because she. <laughs> <laughs> that makes more sense. Nail and Palin. It's a great video. Who was that? Lisa Ann that did that? Yeah, it was. Thank you. <laughs> she got a lot of work done recently and does not look the same. No? No. That's, you a, that's a post-podcast conversation, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen – so, this, I mean, this one w- is safe to talk about. Have you ever seen that video of that guy uh, in the bathtub with her? What? So, there's this one – there's this video that's floating around. I don't know if there's actual sex in it, but <laughs> there's the clip that I've seen is just this guy just sitting in a bathtub, and she walks in through the door, and and she's like a lifeguard. She goes, I see you don't have any lifeguards around here. And then he's just like, but this is this is a bathtub. Like, <laughs> is this one of those ones that's written by Reddit again? I don't know. I have no idea. But then she's like, uh, you always need a lifeguard for protection. He goes, what are you talking about? This is like a foot of water. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, she's just trying to be sexy. And then he's like, but I'm in a bathtub. What are you talking about? And she goes, I think we're, I think we're going to have sex now. And he goes, uh, uh, uh okay. <laughs> 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 and I and I fucking lose it every time it pops up on something. Lose what? Your shit? Yeah, just lose, okay. yeah. When I say I lose it, that's what uh, I mean. Just, I know, but it could mean other things. <laughs> I lose my I lose my erection. Yeah. Like <laughs> um. Little known fact: when you laugh, your erection goes away. We'll talk about later. We'll talk about that later. We should start a new podcast. Sex monkeys. <laughs> um, it's hard. 
hard, man. I mean, yeah, it is. <laughs> a, uh, I feel like maybe Hulk will die. Hulk and Bruce Banner, or just Hulk? Hulk. You, you knew. I'm surprised that when they did the snapping or the nest quickening, the fapping, the fapping, <laughs> um, that. Hulk didn't, or Hulk or Banner didn't get. Well, I mean, he was a part of the original team. Yeah. Everybody but on the original team is fine. Yeah, but, like, can you imagine being him as Hulk and then being snapped and then him fading away and then there's just Banner right there? Yeah. Because technically he's two people. Yeah. I don't know. So man. he lucked out. He had two people in him, and, only, and none of them got snapped. Yep. Like, or imagine Hulk and then just, like, Banner being Gone. run away, and then it's just Hulk. We're like, going to get Dr. Hulk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's going to be cool. Uh, hey. I hope they fix his voice. That always I hope they fix the CGI. That, too. Fucking Mark Ruffalo's head looks so bad outside, outside of that Iron Man suit. Yeah. Everything else in the movie looks great. That, mm, should just kept the face on. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think there's. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know either, man. <sighs> yo, yo, soy Groot. Yeah. I am Groot in Spanish. I I got that. Yeah. <laughs> you think? Uh, Me llamo I, Groot. I want. I mean, I want at least a majority of the Guardians to come back. So do I, because you know, now that we got James Gunn back. Oh yeah. Let's let's get that Guardians three. Get that too. I thought they were gonna do like a different group anyway. Oh, the one with Sylvester Stallone and them. Yeah, or some other group. I remember them saying something where it was gonna be like a prequel, but with Gamora. <laughs> we're gonna get Nova. Maybe. I don't know. Who would you want to see play Nova? Um. I want. It depends on how old you want them. Yeah. Because I think it would be good, it would be nice of them to just, why don't they recast Andrew Garfield? Just, you know. Because it's not his fault those movies were bad? Yeah, it's not his fault. Uh-huh. And he, I feel like he'd play a better Nova than he did Spider- I mean, he was an okay Spider-Man. I like him, his quippiness. Yeah. I think he'd be an okay Nova. Chris Pine, that's my pick. Chris Pine, you just love Chris Pine. Yeah, Chris Pine needs more work, man. Give that money that that guy some money. You got right that now. that little piece in Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Give him give him some more. Give it to him. Give it to him. Fuck it. Give Bring it Ryan Reynolds in for something. Fucking, you know what? I think Deadpool's gonna show up Jake in this Johnson. movie. Jake Johnson. Yeah. yeah, Jake Johnson, man. Give Jake Johnson. Give him more work. Yes. Hollywood, take note. Jake Johnson was the best part of New Girl. Zoe Deschanel would be at nothing without Jake Johnson. True. And the guy only. And the guy that plays Winnie the Bish, but I can't remember his name. I I see. I haven't seen that show in forever, so I don't remember. Winston. Winston. Yeah, the guy who plays Winston. Okay. But he was in Game Night. It's a very good movie. If you haven't seen it, it was okay. I enjoyed it. It was interesting. Twists. Yes. Tw- lots of twists. Twists. I was like, okay, this is fucked up, but okay. Yeah. Definitely a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Which topic do you want to do next? A or B? <laughs> That's A. I want to know what uh, what's uh, going on here. So, I'm going to try to keep this as spoiler-free as possible. We finished watching uh, the, the most recent season of Magicians, and it broke me for a solid hour after it finished. Broke you? Yes. Broke you. You want me to put spoilers? Yeah, you can put spoilers. I'm, I'm going to keep it kind of general because I know you may watch it, right? Maybe, okay. yeah. So, I completely forgot about this, but since episode 7, they teased that somebody was going to die, and I just completely forgot about it. And then when it happens, one, it's it makes sense, and then the afterwards, they ruin Take On Me for me, because it's the way they do it is so sad. Like, the song Take On Me. So, it's broke you as in, like, I was sad? crying, man. You are crying? Yeah, legitimately crying. It hasn't happened to me from a fictional show since The Ranch and Rooster died. <sighs> that's it's on that level for me, man. Wow. And I was like, 
R. I. P. Rooster. Yeah. He might be coming back. He might not be dead. I heard that just I don't know. But it was it was a good ending for that character. I'm interested to see where they're gonna go with a show without that character. Um I'm trying to think what else. And the way that character thinks about what he did, and he, he's not sure if it was brave or suicidal, was very cool. People are pissed off about it, though. So it's a he. Damn it. Damn it. You fucked up, man. I did. Well, there's at least four he's on the show. Yeah. You know, you got Second Penny, Elliot, Quentin, Josh. That's it. Yeah, it's been a while Before since I've seen that show. It's a good show. It's a very to me it's a very underrated show, but man, oh, fucked me up. Fucked you up. I was on Reddit reading people's theories about shit and the guy Oh you even <coughs> you went into it and I went into it. Man. People are pissed. Because of the character, but I can't give anything more away. Death count one. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Here we go. But I would uh Highly recommend watching that. Um, oh, that got, got big. What? What are you? What are you doing? That's kind of funny. Uh. All right. I'll, I'll we'll worry about that later. Nine. nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. Who died nine times? We'll put times? that away. We'll put that away. I was gonna be like just one. Yeah. And it's completely different from the book, so I did not see it coming too. Yeah. Yeah. Which I finished. Those were good. I'd highly recommend them. Yeah. I liked it better than Game of Thrones because it actually has an ending. That makes sense. Shots fired. Shots fired. It's <laughs> it's up to you, Jar Jar Martin. Jar Jar Martin. Jar Jar Midichlorians. Midichlor. <laughs> That's what the White Walkers are made out of. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Force. I saw a joke that was like, "Why has nobody given Jamie a dragon glass hand yet?" Nor Valerian sword. Why? He, did he, when making. Hold on. Why? He has a Valerian st- sword. Okay, I got that. Are we why? just gonna go into it? No. Put the spoilers back up. Hold on. Hold Game on. of Thrones. Hold on. If we're gonna, are we doing? Are we doing? Uh, we can do either. We we headed over to Game of Thrones territory. Yeah, we're going to Game of Thrones. Okay. Or better yet, House Monkey. Ooh, look at that O with the line. Yeah, you like that? I do. Welcome to House Monkey, where we like to talk about Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. (laughs) 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 This is the um the Telltale intro, so it doesn't have any uh credits or anything. It's just going to keep looping, so we can talk. Nice. Yeah, I was gonna so. You can definitely tell it's in a telltale engine, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's very... All the twins. Yeah, so what I was going to do was I was going to take this, and then I was going to edit our intro into that for like the fir- for these couple episodes that Game of Thrones is going on. Yeah. But it was like the the editor stopped working, so... Oh, okay. We're just going to do like a picture-in-picture thing. So while we're talking about Game of Thrones, this is just going to be up for visual. Game of Thrones. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Which one are we doing first? Are we doing episode or are we doing the other thing? Uh, Let's do the hand. Let's talk about the hand. Why? He's literally got GTA hand right now. I hope yes. you know that. Why didn't they, when making the hand, put it into a grasping position so that he could hold a sword? I don't know. Why in the hell? Did they not do that? Because, I mean, like, how would you keep the grip tight enough that you can take the sword off, but also... They could they could change the sword. They could change the sword where it's just like a... Oh, like, that's just the, the... Yeah, that makes sense. And then he could literally... Well, but he, he, can't, he can't go like this to block anything. It all just... He doesn't need to... Bl- he's got a fucking metal hand, man. And he's fucking... Whatever. <laughs> he can literally have it like this, and he could... And he doesn't have to worry about getting his hand cut. Yeah, it's true. Or just make him look like a uh, uh, ancient version of Ash Williams from fucking uh, Evil, Evil Dead. Dead. Just a giant fucking Valerian sword. Just, just, just bring it back to his elbow, man, and then just shove the sword in there. Because what's he do with that hand? 
Like, have you ever seen him do anything besides just sit there? I hope he bitch slaps somebody with it at some point. Ah, surprised he hasn't yet. I know. He hasn't really fought much since getting the hand, yeah. to be honest. Anyway. Um, do we want to... Yeah, we'll just get into it. You want to talk about the show, the, ep- the episode first? Or nah, let's do the other thing. What's the name of it? Huh. Uh, so it... <laughs> So we switched to House Monkey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Game of Thrones Curious. Westeros Curious. Doesn't work still. Fuck. No. We'll, we'll think it up. By Targaryen. Questions from the Seven Kingdoms. Yes. Today's topic is what is a warg? What is a warg? That is for your kids at home to spell W-A-R-G. Warg. Is it a? Is it a? Yeah, W-A-R-G. Hmm. I did not know that. I could be making this up, too. <laughs> You'll never know. So a warg is somebody that can put their consciousness into a n- another beast or animal, sometimes humans. Uh, Bran is the biggest example of that. He's done his, he's done his wolf. He's done Hodor. He's doing somebody to get him around Winterfell right now. I can tell you that much. He's like, uh, man, I know you didn't play, the, was it Resident Evil 7? But in that game, there's this uh, little old lady. And I'm not going to spoil anything about her, but there's no one ever pushing her. She but she always somewhere. ends up showing up in different places of of the of the map. Mm-hmm. You're just like, uh, you walk around a corner, it's like a completely dark room, and she's just sitting in the corner in a wheelchair. Yeah, I don't understand it. But, yeah, so that's the biggest example. People think John's a warg. In the books, uh, when John gets murdered, um, <coughs> a lot of people think that he warged into Ghost to stay alive. Oh, you think so? There's some people that think Ned warged into uh, the crows that fluttered by when he got beheaded. They, basically, people think all the Starks are wargs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that that was in their family at least. Kind of, yeah, a little bit. <coughs> yeah, wargs. This yeah. has been wargs. Wargs. Questions from the Seven Kingdoms. Questions. Oh Questions no, of we, the should, thrones. we should do w- ravens of the Seven Kingdoms. Ravens of the Seven Kingdoms. Mm-hmm. Oh, did you say from the wife? Eat the pizza and breadsticks when you eat the lunch. I'm already gone. Sorry. Uh, Are you doing swipe? Yeah. How does like swipe work with your sweaty hands? Actually, not bad. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's get into the episode, man. The episode. Two you, things have you happened. you want me to stop doing this, or do you... Uh, if you it's maybe a little bit, because we got to get the spoilers up. Okay. All right. Spoils. Two things happened that I thoroughly enjoyed. Brienne becoming a knight. Yeah. That was dope. It was pretty dope. In her face, she was so excited about it. She was it. just like... I mean, she's been wanting that for years. Yeah. All the shit that she's been through. Like, going from one side of the... Seven Kingdoms to the other, mm-hmm. getting her shit rocked or rocking shit, and you know, being treated as a lesser person because she's a woman. Yeah, and you know what I liked about that scene is that when they mentioned that she's not a knight, Tormund was flabbergasted by it. He's just like, "That's stupid. Why isn't she a knight?" Yeah, because in the I mean, <laughs> they don't think about that. Women are equal in the White Wings. Yeah, because they're <laughs> just as good of warriors as. As men, yeah. I mean, some of the best archers in that show were were, were women. You're right. Yeah. R.I.P. Fuck you, Ollie. You're a terrible <laughs> character. Yeah, that's you did nothing good. Little fucker. Um, and then our girl, Ari, getting it, getting it, getting it, staying in control the whole time too. <laughs> have how you? Ma- how many people have you slept with? Uh, three. Adds three names to the list. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you seen that? Uh, was it that? Me- oh yeah, House Monkey. Have okay. you seen that? Um, milk, milk, lemonade. Around the corner, poop is made. 
Oh, yeah. What was it? Non-contacts? It was like... Hold on. What? So there was a, there was a thing that was floating around. Uh, <laughs> game of... Thrones. Uh, spoilers without contacts. Have you ever seen that? No. Without contacts. The new one that came up. Um, trying oh, to find it. Scroll back up. Uh, it's the first article, isn't it? No. It's this one. No. Yes, right here. Yeah. No, I saw that <laughs> one. Did you see that one? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw just like that that woman holding on to the guy while he's like. Can we show that? We could show that. Can we? <laughs> could be too much work. No, I th- I could probably bring it up. Hold on. Save image as. All right. Yeah. Just stall, baby, stall. Um. I, is it just me or is Danny kind of turning into a bad person in the show? She's she's getting there. Like I don't like her anymore. Straight up. Fuck her. John is the heir to the throne. Yeah, that, I like. So I. It's not that I actually don't like. Um. Go it saddens me that after all the shit that's going on. That that's still all that's on her mind is the throne. Yeah, she's like, I'm all about the throne. And then, like, a whole thing with Sansa this week. Like, after this happens with this, what happens to the North? And she just doesn't give a shit. There we go. It's perfect. (laughs) (laughs) Leave it up there. Leave it. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, it. She's just keep. She just keeps harping on it, harping on it. Yeah. I was. I was sure shit thinking that uh, Tyrion was gonna be. They're gonna. She was gonna get rid of him. Yeah. And then give it to uh, Jorah. Yeah. But the fact that he went to bat for him, mm-hmm. which was surprising, and she just ended up like, okay, I need you alive, for your mind. Yeah, but she, like, so quick to be ready to get rid of him, but Jorah, oh, yeah, you, you almost had me murdered. I forgive you now because you have a disease. Yeah. Kind of fucked up. Um, I don't know. It's just she's too focused on that, and then she's like, I hate you because you're the sister of the guy I'm banging. Like, the whole thing with Sansa is stupid. Yeah. You got to take care of the White Walkers first. And then figure out who gets the throne. Yeah. <laughs> like, who cares? John doesn't care. He doesn't even want the throne. No, he doesn't. He just wants everyone to live. He wants to be happy and live with his family. And He's seen too much shit, man. Yeah. But um, I, what I did think was fucking hilarious was when he found out and he immediately... Thought like, about it. He thought about it, and then he went completely professional with her. Mm-hmm. He's All just right. like, "Have a good day." Yep. <laughs> uh, don't touch me. Uh, don't. Don't. <laughs> nope. Like what? I mean, how would you feel if, like, the person that you know you've been with turns out to be your aunt, or fucking just uh, turns out to be fucking related to you? Yeah, I don't like, know, man. How would you feel about that? Like, not good. But there were signs that he should have known. Yeah. Like. Bro, if you're not a Targaryen, you wouldn't have been able to ride that dragon. You should have been like, "Oh, okay, I see what's happening here." Yeah. And then he put it together, and then, and then when she, when he confronts her about it, yeah, she was like, "Are you telling me the only, the only two people that, that say this are your best friend and your, your brother? brother?" Yep. <laughs> and I would have been like, "Um, correction, my cousin." <laughs> <laughs> Just to be a dick about it. <laughs> Just to be, um, excuse me, that's my cousin. Uh, you're related to him too, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, was it, uh. So she's second John's cousin? aunt. Yeah, she'd be his brand's second cousin. Yeah. Like, we all related now, bitch. Mm hmm. All in the family. Yeah. Sister. God damn. The walkers are coming. Do, 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 do. Um, Loud as fuck. Yeah. Uh, just, um, excuse me. That's my that's my cousin. My sister brother cousin. Alright, who's gonna die next week? Okay. 
I feel like that's what that's gonna, what all next week's gonna be. Uh, throwing it out here, they're gonna lose Winterfell. They're gonna completely lose it, and they're gonna retreat to King's Landing because it's only episode three. And they've got three more episodes, right? Yeah, three more episodes. So they're going to lose a lot of people. I'm going to say Tormund. <sighs> yeah. Uh, the Onion Knight. Um, all the brothers of the Without Banners. Uh, the Including Hound. the Hound? So you're Barrack, Hound. Yeah. Or do we include I don't Gen- think we're going to get Clegane Bull at all. Do we include um, Gendry in that, that group? Yep. Okay. Um, everybody in the crypts because that's a bad place to put somebody when they can raise the dead. Yeah, I don't. Even if the well, the the, the White Walkers aren't like super strong. Yeah, no, I understand so that. So I don't but think like, they can break out of those sarcophagus. Yeah, I'm just saying that's a bad place. I know. That's like, and I thought hey man, that too. zombies are coming. Let's go hang out in the graveyard. Yeah. Um. Do we think will we get zombie Sean Bean? No. Why would he, he? He was in King Landing. They sent his bones back. Did they? Yeah. I don't know. They might. That'd be cool, but I feel like we would have heard rumors about that if Sean Bean was spotted anywhere near that shit. Do you think so? Do you think um, if they do do that, do you think John would end up dying that episode because of his zombie mother coming back to life? Oh, maybe. Like that's the person that takes him down. <sighs> Think about that. See, this is why I'm glad I don't work next week because between Endgame and this, I'm I'm gonna be shook. distraught as shit, just just crying in a corner. Yeah, the shookness. I you think, wa- um, I think Jorah's gonna die. Yeah, Jorah. Oh yeah. Yeah, Jorah's gonna die. I think Jamie will probably die. Tyrion will save him at some point, though. Yeah. Just somehow. Um, Greyjoy, I think, is going to die. I don't know. I think, I don't know. If he doesn't, I think him and Sansa are going to end up together. Even though he ain't got no dick. Um, we saw them drinking yeah. them soups together. Well, They're, Yeah. Because I mean, they went through shit together. I know. That Podrick song, man. Yeah. Very akin to, was it Lord of the Rings? Podrick. Podrick's going to die. Just throwing that out there. I think... We should probably l- lower the list, change the list to who we think, think is going to survive. Live? Okay. Um, Brienne. You think Brienne? Yep, think Brienne's going to win. You're going to live. Brienne, Arya. Yep. Um, I think either – I think John is going to die. I so don't – I think he's going to end up dying to save – Daenerys, and then Daenerys might have a change of heart and I, become good again? I don't think so. I think Jon's going to live through this episode. You think so? Yes. I think so. Mm. But I think there will be shit with his mom or something, because the Crips were very, uh, like, they were shown a lot in the trailers. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't think Sansa's going to make it. Okay. Um, Sam's 100% going to die. Oh, yeah. And his and his wife and son, you think? Gilly and Sam, little Sam. Or do you think Gilly's gonna get away? No, because she's in the crypt. She's done for. Yeah. Everybody in the crypt is dead. Let's just let's just leave it there. Daenerys, she's in the crypt. She's dead. Uh, Everybody the Beaumont the cr- girl, she's dead. Oh, well, she's fighting though. I no, she's gonna live. You think she's gonna live? Yeah. She's gonna have to kill Zombie Jorah. You think so? Yeah. Um. Okay, so Brienne, Arya. Yep. Tyrion. Yep. Um, I want to say Danny. I want to say I got a feeling that she's okay. gonna because we'll, they got a, they're riding that man. We'll, we'll, we'll include Danny. I think uh, Messisandre. What is that her name? Messisandre, the one that's with Grey, Grey Worm. Yeah, I think she's toasted, man. I think she lives. Grey Worm dies. I think it's the opposite. Really? Yeah. Okay, I can see that either way. Um. Yeah, but I've heard, I've heard that said like, oh, he he's looking for a future. He's looking for a future after this. Yeah, he's totally he's gonna dead. die. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, I want to I want to think they're gonna go the opposite way and ha- have him thinking about the future and then have her die. I wonder if this might lead to us finally getting Lady Stoneheart, zombie Catelyn Stark from the books. 
I thought she was thrown in a river. I don't think did they. She ever t- was, but they don't know. I mean, they never took care of her body, did they? They never showed anything in the, in the show about what actually happened to her body. Yeah, true. It could happen. I don't think it's going to, but it'd be cool. It'd be it pretty would cool. Be. I mean, um, yeah. Uh, Brand's probably gonna die. You think Brand's gonna die? Yeah, because the whole thing. Hey, we're gonna leave you in the woods to try to lure him out there. It's not gonna work. Theon is not going to be well against a fucking White Walker. Yeah. The Night King. I think it's funny that when it was it uh I think they might try to turn one of the Starks into like a White Walker and then it doesn't and it backfires on them. Like they can't be fully turned like Benjamin Stark wasn't like able to be turned. But he's dead. Yeah. I, I've, um have you have you never saw 28 weeks later, did you? No. Or 28 Days Later. Okay. 28 Weeks Later, um, it's the sequel to 28 Days, and it's, uh, there, there's a, a infection, you know, the zombie infection, the anger, whatever, the strain, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. Anyway, they, they find out that there's this lady. All the zombies are dead. They all die from starvation. Okay. And then there's this lady who's, she's not really a zombie, but she's a human, and but she looks like she's infected. Mm-hmm. Uh, turns out she has like a special strain in her body that she ha- she carries the disease, but she doesn't have she doesn't turn into a zombie, so she's like a normal person. And then how that happens is like the whole plague happens again because of her. Because of her, because she accidentally scratches someone. There's a joke about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, anti-vax people are the people that get bit in zombie movies and then don't tell anybody or then they end up killing everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, same idea. Yeah, so and then, yeah, <coughs> so they just, uh, they, they, the zombies can't, you know, like infect them, but they can kill them. Okay. By the way, I, I, why was the whole ghost reunion not a bigger deal? I was like, holy shit, he's still alive. <laughs> it's like, I can't remember the last time we saw ghosts. Yeah. It's been some fucking time. It's been time. a minute. Yeah. It's been a fucking minute. That's like the last dire wolf. Except for the one that Sansa has. No, no Arya. Arya, not Miria, which she is down south. Because that's who she saw when she came back with Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Not my Sharon. <laughs> um, Sharon! Sharon! Uh, but he, Yeah. I don't know. Now there's a, did you see there? There's a theory that the Night King is a Targaryen because he can ride a dragon. I poke holes. Yeah, you can poke holes in it pretty easily. He's a he dead. Just, he just controls it because it's his now. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That's kind of. I still think he's a Stark somehow. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I don't think he's Bran though. I don't. I don't think that theory holds water. Yeah. That is. Mm. Or maybe he's like. Not Bran, but like a part of Bran. No. Like, like uh, a, like a, almost like a, like a consciousness, conscious. See, I don't like I'm that because that's that's how the Devil May Cry Five was. I did not like that that ending. It was like, this guy is the demon side of this guy, and this guy's the human side. Oh yeah? yeah, is that what they did? Yeah. Oh man. See the mile away coming through, and they're like, yeah, I'm actually this guy. Ooh. Is yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's there's gonna be I don't know we're A lot of people are gonna die. Yeah. We're gonna cry. A zombie holder is gonna be show up at one point. You know, I just realized and I was uh I was thinking about this. Not only do they have zombie dragons and humans, mm-hmm. they have bears, mm-hmm. all wildlife, all wolves. Zombie mammoths. Across. Zombie mammoths. Giants. Giants. Fucking one dragon. Do you think a dragon's gonna die, or do you think? I think it's gonna be the ice dragon, though. You think the ice dragon's gonna die? Yeah. How do you kill a zombie dragon? I don't know. You think their fire is stronger because the blue fire, blue fire burns hotter? Maybe, but no. I, I think that I think that dragon stuffs. You think that, that dragon stuffs? You don't Syrian. think uh, the other. W- one of the other two are going to die? No, I don't think so. Or do you think... I feel like they're going to use them to get away. So there's so going to be... Just a, two of them are going to get away? Just no, two people? Not two people. I mean... 
like they're going to sacrifice the dragons to hold them off so everybody else no. can go down south? What they're going to do is they're going to, like every zombie movie, they're going to get in the helicopter and they're going to fly away. So the, the helicopter in this case is two dragons, maybe one, and the survivors that, that survive Winterfell are going to get on these two and fly, fly south. Maybe. Uh, that's how I feel like they're going to lose Winterfell. The last dragon out of Winterfell. It's like the last helicopter out of Saigon. Yeah. And then as they're flying away, you see the destruction of all the zombies or White Walkers c- like coming over the Winterfell and mm-hmm. eating people. and the. So if that happens, I'm not saying it's not going to, I think they're going to take out a few of the main White Walkers, though. Not the Night King. But a few of the other ones. His generals? Yeah. Yeah. Granted, he could just make more. I don't think he can. He. Those are the, the, those are the product babies. of that one guy. Craster. Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah, so those are the babies he raised. Yeah, those were. That's that's okay. all those guys were. Is for so, the yeah. Years maybe, that he was doing that. Maybe he can't make more of them, but I think he's going to lose a couple of them. And a couple of them are just going to go down with fucking arrow shots, I think, with Dragon Glass. Do you think that all of them are going to go down? No, just a couple. And then he takes over Bran, and Bran is like his second in command. Bran can't walk anyway. What if he start? What if he picks him up and he can walk after I that? Don't th- no. No? No. Just because you're a zombie doesn't magically mean you're not paralyzed anymore. They don't have heads, half of them, man. What the yeah. fuck are you talking about? Yeah, but half that's, of them that's don't sep- have body that's, parts. That's separated. That's like... Spinal. It's a you spinal think, injury. You don't think a guy who you know picks dead people up for a living <laughs> fixes them? No, I don't think he does because otherwise they would have heads. You just, you just made my. How own can point. they walk without heads then? They just do. I, I mean, they can't walk when they're. <laughs> he head. has a head. I'm pretty sure he would be able to walk. Oh no, man, you know, even if he was able to walk, you know how fit, skinny his legs are now, from like eight years of not walking. <laughs> they're, they're probably like this. Not. <laughs> Like Jimmy's? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to try to walk, and then instantly both knees are just going to shake. Wow, what out. a great audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to hell. <laughs> um, Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I think, think he, I think if he takes over Bran, he's going to look like that dog from uh, is it Family Guy with the broken legs that just kind of <laughs> crawls. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I don't remember his name. Looks but like a rolled up piece of toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's my prediction is they're gonna lose Winterfell, and then um, they're gonna go go south. And are they gonna keep making stands at other places, or just gonna go straight to King's Landing? Go straight to King's Landing. I got a feeling that you would be able to get more people there, and you'd have more time. Because if you if you go to different places, mm-hmm. I mean. You have very little time to get enough people together. I mean, I get that, but, like, if John lives, that's not going to be the case. Because you're like, well, there's these people here, here, and here, and here, and he doesn't want to let them to die. But your theory is he dies, so maybe it could work. I don't know. We'll see. If it's it's Daenerys, that's the first thing she's going to do. She's just going to go take the throne. Or she's going to go to Dragonstone, because that's even further away. And they they can't swim. We know that. Yeah, or... Fuck this, go to Iron Islands. Let, Nobody let wants the to South go to deal with the zombies. Nobody wants to go to Iron Islands. I know. Even the people in Iron Islands don't want to go there. Yeah, it's like Ohio. Yeah, but it's, it's like Ohio of Westeros. It's no one's going to get them there. I guess. Like, Unless they, they have zombies that swim. Well, they have a zombie that can fly now. Just take little trips back and forth with the dragon. <laughs> drop them off. It's it's the Uber of the Game of Thrones. Yeah, just drops them from his claws so they just all clatter and then they pick themselves back Don't up. Don't forget to, uh, I, I have bottles of water <laughs> and some snacks in the back. Five stars, please. <laughs> is that my phone or yours? That's yours, man. Yours uh, has been going off. Oh, uh, I got memories. You're popular today. Uh, no, it's just Sean. <laughs> Not popular. So... We're going to say five. Five people survive. Who are your five? Sansa, Arya, Brienne, Tyrion, and Jon. 
think so. Yep. I'm gonna if say if we're limiting to five, yes, that's my five. Five, five people. Yeah. Um. Arya, Brienne, Tyrion. Uh. Maybe Jamie. Okay. Maybe. I still think he's gonna die. And Daenerys. I think I think Jamie's arc is over with. He's gonna die. You think so? Yeah, he's he's redeeming himself, and he's gonna do it in a way to save somebody. When I want to, so imagine, imagine all this happens, and say they they get the choppers out, and they go, and it, Winterfell's gone, and it's being overtaken. Imagine uh, Bronn showing up with that crossbow, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> to the Winterfell, like, hey, what what's going on? And then just being mauled, <laughs> like yeah, last, well, the very last scene is just the like a waterfall of just of White Walkers. Uh, oh shit! And then yeah, I don't want that for Bronn though. No, but imagine how fucked up that would be. That would be good. <laughs> hey guys, uh, oh shit! Oh 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 fuck no! Yeah. So you know where they should go to actually make a, a final final stand? What? The Erie. Where's that? It's on top of the mountains. Mm. And then it's all huddle behind the moon door and just have them slowly walk in so like lemmings and fall through the moon door <laughs> and die. <laughs> oh. Uh, the fray? No. The veil, but yeah, the the veil. it's called the Eerie, yeah. The veil. Yeah. <laughs> or just have them all. Just follow like lemmings. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> And they just keep going because they're not dying from hitting the ground. They're just slowly making their way All back. All right, up. guys. We just got to make sure everyone just comes in. <laughs> Single file, <laughs> Single please. Single file, guys. Feast this way. Come on in. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we'll see what they do is they, they, they line up a thing like this. Moon door's here, and then they put Bran right here. So he's just sitting there. Come and get me. Come and get me. You know. Zombies don't have depth perception. So they're like, oh, okay, cool. And then <laughs> the only other thing I could think of is uh, last minute. Hmm, this is a fucking way out there prediction. Last minute, Bran realizes that he can warg the dead. He might. I, I've been seeing that theory, that he could warg the dead and take over Viserion. <laughs> then he is the Night King. And then he's just like, uh, fuck Instead you. Instead of like this, he's just like, Die. Nope. <laughs> and then takes them, and then they all swarm. King's Landing? King's Landing. Yeah. And fucking murder the fucking Golden Company. Can you imagine a person with an army of dead? Dead giants, bears, wolves, Dothraki, fucking Is three Dothraki? dragons. Yeah. Can you imagine a zombie or a White Walker Dothraki? Doth, what is it? Dothraki Screamers? Is that yeah. what they're called? <laughs> I think everything's going everybody's gonna get huddled into one room. All about to die. And then all of a sudden you hear the Avengers thing song. And fucking Tony Stark shows up. <laughs> <laughs> and just wrecks them. Or you just you just hear I am Iron Man <laughs> just <laughs> blasting out. Uh, better yet. And then it turns out Game of Thrones is going to be an Avengers Endgame because they did time travel to go back to save Westeros. I, putting it out there, this is my Babe Ruth moment. Thor. Lightning hammer. Hits the ground. <laughs> White walkers go everywhere. If you had a license, no. It would be perfect. <laughs> just the I'd be okay with it. Slow mo of the axe spinning with lightning connecting to it, and then it hits hits the white or like the White Walkers, and there's a big old explosion. They go flying. <laughs> Sup guys? Okay, miss can anything? I, can I do you one better? What? Replace Thor with Kratos. Thor with Kratos. Kratos and Atreus just show up and just start <laughs> fucking everything up. <laughs> What? We fight zombies all the time. It's not a big deal. Whips out the oh, look of chaos. At, these Drogar are, are way different here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That, that's the best we're going to get. 
<laughs> there it is, guys. Game of Kratos. Thrones. Kratos. Kratos sits on the Iron Throne. <laughs> a king and a god once more. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where is the... Okay, spoils. All right. Um, that's about it. I got nothing else. Neither do I, man. You got anything coming up? You want to try streaming? Possibly, yeah. I'm going to try to stream. Uh, next week's podcast may be not happening because of the whole stomach thing. We shall see. Okay. Yep. That's fine. Yep. You you get your shit together. It's microphone. It's a camera. You gonna be awake for that? No, no. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm okay with it. <laughs> Knock me. I off. got a feeling that when you get up after that, it's gonna hurt. You you're gonna have a sore throat for like a week. Yeah, apparently, there's some spray you can get. Uh, that you're supposed to ask them for it. I wonder if they're gonna lube you up with some cherry lube and get I hope not juice. cherry. Give me some other flavor. I hate cherry. <laughs> Do you want pina colada? <laughs> yes, pina I like colada. pina coladas. Oh man, we used all the cherry lube on the last guy, but it went up his butt. I yeah. don't know why he wanted cherry lube. Yeah, I mean, taste things better with your butt, man. <laughs> taste your poop as it comes out. That's not true. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Brussels sprouts? Tastes like charcoal. <laughs> tastes like charcoal. That's what happens when you drink Pepto. Tastes <laughs> like charcoal. <laughs> it's all black and shit. Yep. Okay, um, <laughs> house monkey. That was my phone going off. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's all I got. You know, uh, might try to do some streaming or play some of that. There, Spiral the Dragon this weekend. Um. Yeah. 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 All right. Maybe maybe I'll stream a little bit too. Might uh might. Might do some uh, recording there of the uh, first week of League and just put it up on the YouTube's too. First week of League. Oh yeah. Possibly. Are you gonna do it with the Ginge? Uh, he's just got his uh wedding. Yeah, his uh, vacation honeymoon. Where's he going? Up north. Oh. Yeah. Okay. He's told me multiple times. Oh. People keep asking me where the wedding is, and I was like, <laughs> I just know I have to be somewhere sometime. <laughs> That makes sense. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, shout out to your boy, Nick. Thank you for your patronage still, even though we have not been on top of it for obvious reasons. Yes. Um, go to any of our social media things. At Skill Monkeys. At Skill Monkeys, anything. Go to Instagram. I uh, appreciate you. I appreciate you for taking the time out of your day. The North wants you to join the Undead Army. Yes. You. you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anything else? The North will rise again. Not my throne sitter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stay dirty.